I'm drawn to the 3D imagery because it's challenging. Um, picturing things in 3D was sort of a fun exercise to do and I knew that life drawing was sort of the place to start for really establishing real skills. Sort of went from life drawing into just like really picturing things and understanding their volumes in my head and then projecting that onto paper. After high school I got interested in physics and the sciences a little bit more and decided that I should, whatever I do, should be in, really well informed and so I've been experimenting a lot with uh, sort of cosmic imagery and um, geometric shapes and lately I've been learning to actually calculate refractions and so everything looks spot on and I'm sort of a perfectionist so I like to like to make sure that what I'm doing no one's going to be able to tear apart. From understanding shapes and being able to put them down to understanding how lighting hits objects and bounces off or goes through and how that looks. Really it's just about pushing to find what's challenging. Once I started getting interested in physics a little bit and then, and then how amazing some space objects look, it was hard to not paint them. Um, and once I started trying to figure out why those things look the way they do and understanding the life cycle of stars and how they explode and make amazing nebulas, uh, it was just fascinating. And I think I painted my first nebula about, about two years ago now, and it turned out really well, I thought, for for it being my first shot and I went, hey, that's, that turned out pretty well. I should probably do more of that. It's, it's pretty gratifying and I like, I like knowing more about what I'm painting. Like people just look at a nebula but don't really know what it is and then looking at it in a different light, sort of like, oh, those, those reds there, they're hydrogen and whatnot and understanding where that came from and understanding the scale of it, I find is well, trying to understand the scale of it is pretty mind-blowing. I guess even things as small as just seeing light passing through something a certain way and how, how it angles light together and creates intense points of light or how, how shadows fall in different areas and go from sharp to diffuse and, and just seeing little finicky details like that in day-to-day -day life, sort of, you'd see it and it's like, ah, that would look good. I'm going to build a painting around that feature that I particularly liked. And so I find that that's usually a pretty good starting point if I'm not totally sure what I'm going to paint. And uh, adding other things into it, say like characters or typography or that type of thing can really give people something to latch on to because not everyone sees light refracting a certain way and goes, wow, that's so cool, I want to buy it. Usually take something that they can relate to a little, a little better, like a character, or something with a face that they like or words. Sort of a catalyst for getting people's attention to the more subtle details of, of just objects. Hi, I'm Fraser Adams. I'm a graphic artist.